Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to make and use a blueprint function library in Unreal Engine. Let's get started. So first of all, we need to create a blueprint function library. And to do that, you need to right click in the content browser, go down to blueprints and select blueprint function library. You can rename it. Now double click on it to open it and then you'll be presented with a new function. So the functions are all on the left hand side or wherever your My Blueprint panel is. And then when you first create a Blueprint function library, it will create a new function automatically for you. So I'm going to rename this to a test. And this function will now be available in all your blueprints. That's the power of a blueprint function library. So, for example, in my character blueprint, I have a input, which is a G, and then I'm going to make a play sound at location. So play sound, actually play sound 2D. And then I'm going to select a sound effect that I have. So we have this play sound 2D and it's added in the input action. So when, we, when I press G, you should hear this sound effect. So that's pretty simple so far. But imagine we wanted to add more code to this sound, play sound 2D. So we can drag this off and then let's say we do a print string. And then just imagine we have more code that we want to run together with this sound effect. And then we wanted to play this sound effect with the other code in other places in this blueprint. Then we would have to copy this and then uh, paste it in other places. Um, it will get tedious and it will make the code very messy. So that's where we want to use a blueprint function library. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to cut it, and then we're going to put it in this test function. So now this, is, this code is wrapped in a function and then we can use this function in any blueprint that we have. So we're going to go back to the character blueprint and then drag out of pressed and I'm going to do test and then select this test function. Uh, the function will be under the name of your blueprint function library. So in my case I named the function library BP so this test function is under BP. So I don't have any inputs or outputs, just a simple executable output. So test BP will just run when I press G and run the sound effect. And now because this is a function in the blueprint function library, I can use this function in any place I want. So I can copy this and then put it in, for example, a space bar, space bar input. And then when I press G, it plays. And when I press the space bar, it also plays. So, and, and also if you look on the top left corner, it's also printing string. So this is how you can use a blueprint function. And um, this is, the possibilities are endless really. You can have inputs, you can have outputs, and you can just use the blueprint function library to just simplify your code and you can reduce places where you need to copy and paste, copy and paste. You can just wrap everything in functions and um, you're good to go. So I hope this video has helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And if you have any suggestions on other tutorials I should make, please comment as well. Don't forget to like, share, and most of all, please subscribe. And don't forget to check out my Patreon in the link below. See you soon.